Welcome in this video in which we are going to see how to create, import and select a PLC definition. To create a PLC definition we are using a tool named Target Definition Builder. With this tool we are going to generate the C and H file corresponding to the element we have created and then we can compile this element with the firmware source code. On the other side we generate a definition file which is imported in the workbench and then the components can be used in the project. It can be IO boards, C function blocks and so on. So you see in the resource properties actually I have only two definitions available. If I want to import a new one I just select import target definition. It's a TDB file so I will browse to my definition. So this is a definition I have created with the target definition builder. So it's a characteristic of the target, some data types, C function, C function blocks, IO device, it can be conversion function, defined words, interrupt, user variables and so on. So I, I have to create all the characteristics of my hardware. Concerning the target, it can be uh, large of a medium memory model. So it can also be based on uh, Intel or Motorola CPUs and I have to select the alignment of my data. I'm going to select uh, what kind of standard function of function blocks I want to use. So in this case I'm going to unselect all the time operators like TON, TOF and TP. Same for the language. You can select which language you want to use or not. I will unselect the SAMA and the 64099. You can insert an image corresponding to your hardware. I will select one. And uh, finally the data type. Uh, I have unselected all the timers so I will unselect time and also string. So, in the C function and C function block section, you see that you can create some C function and C function block. So I have created one with three inputs and two inputs, two outputs, sorry. Um, in the I.O. device section, I can create some I.O. boards. So I have to select the type and the number of channels. In the parameter sheet, I can define some parameters used by the user to make the difference between several instances of the same uh, IO device. Then I can generate some C on H file. So I, I will begin with the target definition characteristic. I will select a static mode and I have generated a H file with all the information I have selected in my different sheets. So for example I will find the name of my target, the model large, the CPU Motorola and if I have a look of what I have selected or unselected I see for example here that I have unselected the strings. I have to do the same for each component of my target definition. So I will do the same for my C function block. I choose static library. I generate a C and a H file. If I open the C file I see that I have some function needed by the firmware and one of these function will be so this is a pointer to my inputs and outputs one of these function will be called fbl call so the name of my function block fbl call this function is called each time you're using an instance of this function block so that this in this function that you're going to write the algorithm of your C function block. Uh, I have created an IO device so I will do the same for my 
IO devices. I will select them and generate one C and one H file for each of them. If I have a look of the C file, I see that I have one function in this case, which is IOS read because it's an input card. If I open the C file corresponding to my output card, I have exactly the same function, but this time it's called IOS write. Now I have to import this TDB file into my workbench. So I right click on my project and select import target definition. I select my TDB file and I import it. Then if I go back in the property of my resource, I see for the parameter target that a new one is available. So I'm going to select this one. I save my project and I create a new program in FBD. You see that you don't have the SAMA language and the 64099 language because I have unselected them in my PLC definition. I insert a block. You see in the block selector, if I go at the end, that you can see the C function block you have created in your target definition. If I go in the IO device editor, if I want to insert a new board, I see that two boards are available. One input Boolean four channel board and one output board. And this is the parameter I have created to make the difference between several instances of the same card I can use. Let's go back in the target definition file. You see that I have also created a structure with some Boolean components. And if I go in my dictionary to create one variable corresponding to this st structure, so let's call it uh, valve1, I can select this data type defined in my definition file. So I have created one structure with a data type defined in my definition file. If I try to create a string, you see that the string data type doesn't exist because I have unselected it in my definition file. So there's no possibility to use time or string variables in this kind of project. If I go in my deployment view, I see that the default image has been replaced by the image I have selected in my definition file. This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or super at isagraph.com.